Harry Nyquist was a Swedish-born American electronic engineer who made important contributions to communication theory. Personal life. Nyquist was born in the Stora Kill parish of Nilsby, Varmland, Sweden. He was the son of Lars Johnson Nyquist and Katrina Eriks daughter. His parents had seven children, Elin Theresia, Astrid, Selma, Harry Theodore, Emilia, Olga Maria, and Axel. He emigrated to the USA in 1907. Education. He entered the University of North Dakota in 1912 and received B.S. and M.S. degrees in electrical engineering in 1914 and 1915, respectively. He received a Ph.D. in physics at Yale University in 1917. Career. He worked at AT&T's Department of Development and Research from 1917 to 1934, and continued when it became Bell Telephone Laboratories that year, until his retirement in 1954. Nyquist received the Iron Medal of Honor in 1960 for fundamental contributions to a quantitative understanding of thermal noise data transmission and negative feedback. In October 1960 he was awarded the Stuart Ballantyne Medal of the Franklin Institute for his theoretical analyses and practical inventions in the field of communications systems during the past 40 years including particularly his original work in the theories of telegraph transmission, thermal noise in electric conductors, and in the history of feedback systems. In 1969 he was awarded the National Academy of Engineering's Fourth Founders Medal in recognition of his many fundamental contributions to engineering. In 1975 Nick was received together with Hendrik Bode the Rufus Oldenburg a medal from the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. Nyquist lived in Far, Texas after his retirement, and died in Harlingen, Texas on April 4, 1976. Technical Contributions As an engineer at Bell Laboratories, Nyquist did important work on thermal noise, the stability of feedback amplifiers, telegraphy, facsimile, television, and other important communications problems. With Herbert E. Ives, he helped to develop AT&T's first facsimile machines that were made public in 1924. In 1932, he published a classic paper on stability of feedback amplifiers. The Nyquist stability criterion can now be found in all textbooks on feedback control theory. His early theoretical work on determining the bandwidth requirements for transmitting information laid the foundations for later advances by Claude Shannon, which led to the development of information theory. In particular, Nyquist determined that the number of independent pulses that could be put through a telegraph channel per unit time is limited to twice the bandwidth of the channel, and published his results in the papers Certain Factors Affecting Telegraph Speed and Certain Topics in Telegraph Transmission Theory. This rule is essentially a dual of what is now known as the Nyquist-Shannon Sampling Theorem.